Hi everyone, uh, Holly Psychic Medium. Uh, please subscribe and like if you haven't, and if you're not so inclined, that's okay too. Um, I am going to do a very fast, I've already done a um, video, and Archangel Raphael, oh, beloved Archangel Raphael, came through with the channel. Uh, and uh, anyway, uh, I didn't want to convolute that video, and so I'm going to do just one quick card pull in a separate video. And um, so anyway, here we go. I'm using, this is quickly becoming my go-to favorite deck that that I've seen in a long time. It's the Higher Self Oracle by Deanna Marie Riddick and a really tiny print on the bottom. The It's illustrated because those are equally, you know, well, they're, they're vastly important, I gotta say. Uh, illustrated by Deborah Rodriguez Capacetti. Cool name, cool name. Okay. Oh, and this is what it looks like. Okay. All right. Cards, the back of the cards. And whew, I had breakfast. Uh, I am I am shaky today, though. Whew. But yesterday it was like a kind of a heaviness. Today it's kind of a high vibration, buzzy, shaky, funny feeling. And uh, it does feel, wow, it's like I can barely catch my breath. Um, but sometimes that's when you're around really high level energies and spirits that, that can happen too. All right, they're saying take the one right off the top. Oh, how beautiful, love. That's gonna mean a couple of things, but that is, I, I take that fully as the over, over uh, arching dominant uh, energy for today and this moment is the energy of love. That could be love of self, love for another romantically, love for a friend, love for a child, love for um, the angelic realm, love for spirit. But always remember, love for everyone else also starts with self-love, okay? One more, okay, I'm hearing one more. Let's pull one more. Okay, and this is an oral de or oracle deck, um, all right. What is the overarching or what is the dominant energy for today? Okay. Oh, of course this is it. Of course. You are not alone. That's beautiful. Look how bright her dress is. You may not see your divine team, your spirit team around you. You may not see them, but they are there and they are surrounding you. They're just kind of hidden in the cloak of the background and sometimes night or... But you are always protected and surrounded by spirit and you just have to ask, be with me, protect me, intervene. I just use the word intervene now and I'll sometimes add, um, intervene in all areas of my life now, you know, and sometimes I'll ask for, show me truth with truth and clarity, what I need to do or who I can trust or whatever the situation might be, but you are not alone. And look how brilliant. That dress is more than a dress. It's the brilliant light radiating from her around her Be that bright light and don't hide it. You don't have to dull yourself for anyone or anything. There's a difference between being arrogant and being radiant and confident. Sometimes the most gentle, calm people are the ones who are the most confident and, and, and let their light shine the most, but they are, they have absolutely, you know, no, no ego wrapped up in it or arrogance or competition. It's just, everybody needs to win. You know, you want the best for everyone, you know, and I'll, yeah, sometimes if, especially on the job, if you see someone doing something overtly wrong, you're like, this could hurt someone, stop. 
but I have to remind myself, everybody's trying. I make mistakes, everybody does, and Lord knows I make a lot of mistakes, but it's just, hopefully we let the truth, kindness, and radiance of our light win out in the end. This just kind of fell out. Uh, I wasn't planning on another card, but I think it's important. Forgiveness. And the message I'm hearing is that it's not necessarily, it could be forgive, forgiveness with other people. I mean, the lesson always remains, but it's okay to let go of those hurt feelings because all it's going to do is hold you back. Um, but, and energetically them too, and keep you tethered to them. But um, it feels initially more like, um, don't beat yourself up, okay? Don't beat yourself up. You're doing the best you can. You've made mistakes. Try to account for them and atone for them. Say you're sorry if you need to. And if not to anyone else, to yourself. If, ah, uh, okay. And this is what I'm hearing. If you feel like maybe you didn't handle something properly, and, and I'm not talking about intentionally, maliciously, like, you know, going after somebody and hurting them and doing it. That might take a little more effort. But at any rate, if you feel like you didn't handle something properly or you just want to clear all your slates for a clean, fresh start so there's nothing, you know, no energetic goo lingering, if you're not in contact with that person or you don't feel comfortable being in contact, or you could say it to a person or situation, just remember that it's okay to issue an energetic apology. Ask your guides, please deliver this to whomever needs it or just into the ether so that it is felt. I am sorry for how I mishandled things. And you know what? That goes a long way. So, you know, and understand that you may never get an apology from someone who you feel like has slighted you, but that's okay. Move on because all it does is create a nick or a wound within that festers. And like anything that starts to fester, it creates an infection. The other person's not carrying the infection. You are. So you know what? Let it go. And sometimes we just have to make peace with the things we can't change. But the lesson will remain. Okay? So always make sure you are taking care of yourself and your needs. All right, I'm starting to ramble, so I'm going to let you go. And... Thank you so much for being here. Love yourself. I love your perfect soul. And I am grateful for you. All we can do is keep working on ourselves and don't shut down and withdraw. You have a lot to offer. Okay, everybody. Um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.